everyone, it's Elaine, and welcome back to my channel. As many of you know, I am on the design team for Sweet Pea Curiosities. Um, Marissa is the designer, and I have a lot of fun with her digitals. To me, they are very unique, and she'll work with you. Um, for me, you know, I've asked her, did she ever think about doing something like, you know, whatever, and she said, well, let me think about it. And, you know, a couple of times she has actually come back with a digital with that kind of theme. So anyhow, this time I used some of her really bright swirly flowers. And um, I will link the link down below for this digital, okay? But what I made was some bookmarks. Now, this project... I did not get totally finished, um, so I will take the remainder um, bookmarks with me. But what I did was I coffee stained some paper, and I put that through um, an embossing folder. And then this is Marissa's Digitals. Instead of making them a full page, I made them a half a page. That way the flowers and stuff and the swirls would be a little smaller and you'd be able to see more detail in each one of the items. You can resize. I could make these as small as a postage stamp if I wanted to. Um, it's really fun. Go to your computer and play with your print settings and you'll see what I'm talking about. Anyhow, this is called quilling. And I happened to be in a store not too long ago and the bookmarks, she had some out there that were like this. She did two quilling circles on a book page with white cardstock on the back. And she was selling them for a hefty little penny. Now, I'm not going to sell these. These are going to be gifts. But I thought that I would like to fancy them up a little bit. So I took a book page. I believe this is French. And like I said, I coffee stained some paper. Then I embossed it used Marissa's Digitals, and then on the back, this is some of my coffee stained paper. If you've not seen this video, go watch it. It's very detailed. It tells you how to get the lace design on your coffee stained papers. It really is easy peasy. Um, you walk away from it, let it dry. You don't have to iron it. It's, it's, it's easy to me, and I enjoy it. It's a little therapeutic. Anyway, these, I'm going to just sh come and show you here real quick. Um, a lot of the little circles that I did, they are fun. Now, quilling, you know, people make flowers and animals and all of that. Now, I've never done that, but I've had the quilling stuff for a little while. So, when I saw that bookmark in that store, I was like, oh, yeah, I think I could do that. So, again, these are the ones that I don't have finished, and I will work on those later. But I want to show you a little bit of the designs that I had gone ahead and printed out. I'm not sure if on this video you can see the sharpness and the beauty. I'm telling you, these are such brilliant colors. It is so nice. Um, Marissa suggests that you print out on presentation paper. Well, I found an old box of presentation paper, I guess from one of my past jobs, and it was medium weight, and it was a pretty good size box, and I thought to myself, okay, here we go, I'm going to give this a try and look at them, they're beautiful, and also, if you've never quilled before, I keep my little quilling stuff all in one little bag, this is it. It's these little strips. Now, these are an eighth of an inch. I think they go up to maybe a quarter of an inch. I don't think they go any fatter than that. Um, I'm not sure, though. They might a little bit. But that's um, quilling paper, and it already comes in the strips. And that's what I did for the circles. So, you know, if you've never tried quilling, give it a try. Get you a pack. And you can embellish on different things, even if it's just a matter of making some circles inside of some paper flowers or something. <laughs> Alrighty. But anyhow, I just kind of wanted to show you the project that I was using Sweet Pea Curiosity papers on. And like I said, I'll link this down below, um, this paper. And go and check out the Etsy shop. 
I'm telling you, you will find something there that you just have to have. And remember, I try to put up a video on Tuesday evenings. I don't get to do it every Tuesday like I used to. Things have been a little busy. Um, as you know, I do some crafty retreats. I do four here in Georgia, and I do two in northern Alabama that are mainly focused on junk journaling and mixed media. So if you'd like to uh, reach out to me about any of them, please do. Um, you can find me on Facebook. I have a group, a page, um, my own personal. I'm also on Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. And I do have a small Etsy shop. So with that in mind, like I said, if you have any questions, you know, please let me know and I'll be glad to um, chat with you. So anyhow, have a good day and I will catch you going down the road. Bye bye.